Okay, we've got two practice problems for the alternating series estimation theorem. The first one says how many terms are needed to estimate this series with an error of less than 0.001. So what I want to do is basically look at a bunch of terms from the series. And I'm just writing out here so I can create a little table. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but it's never more than 10. And honestly, it's more usually in the three to six range. So I'll go to seven here just to see it. That should be enough. But basically what I want to do is go on my calculator and go into my y equals. I'm going to get rid of the equation in y4, first of all. And then in y1, I am going to type in this expression. So I have uh, negative one raised to the x, I'll call it, instead of n. Oh, excuse me, x plus one instead of n plus one. And then I'll divide that by x to the fourth. So that is, that is the actual expression for the sequence that we are adding up to get to the series. What I want to do is find out which term is less than 0.001, because that will be my error term. And I add up the number of terms prior to that in order to get a sum with an with an error of less than the value of that first unused term. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my table set. Do you see this little blue says table set? So I go second table set and I want to start my table at one because that is my lower index here. And my delta table is going to be one because with the sequence and the series we go up by integers. So that helps me and I can look at the table and I say okay the first term is just has a value of 1. The second term has a value of negative 0.0625. I'm going to keep looking until I have a term that is less than 0.001. You see, the fifth term is just over 0.001. So at the sixth term, it says negative 8. E to the negative fourth is scientific notation. So that, fifth, that sixth term here is actually, it said, an, an 8 and then an e to the negative fourth, which meant move it four decimal places. So I have an 8 and then a four decimal places to the left, making sure actually it was a negative 8. So this is the value of my sixth term. And of course, for the alternating series estimation theorem, I want the absolute value of the first unused term to be less than 0.001. Because the sixth term is my error term, the answer to how many terms are needed is five terms because I started with n equals one and I'm gonna to go to n equals five to get the error of less than 0.001. All right, for this next problem, they're asking us to be accurate to four decimal places. And so I'm gonna take this one from a different approach. What I'm actually going to do is take a sequence of partial sums. So I'm going to Find the sum of the first term, the sum of the first two terms, the sum of the first three terms, and so on and so forth until I have four decimal places repeating. So I'm once again going to use my calculator, but this time I won't use the graph screen. I'm going to come over here to the home screen, and I'm going to do alpha, F2, and then choose 2 for summation. And I'm going to sum from where x equals 1 and the first sum I'll take is just the sum of the first term, so from 1 to 1. Then here I'm going to type in my series. So I have negative 1, in parentheses, raised to the x plus 1, and then all divided by, in parentheses, 2x, close parentheses, and then for factorial, I go to math, scroll right to probability, and down to number 4. And that should be exactly what I wanted it to be. I see that exact formula that I wanted. And think about it. If I plug in my first term, my denominator is 2 and my numerator is 1. So it's 1 half. So the sum of just the first term is 1 half. So now let's go look at the sum of the first two terms. What I do is I go back in, let's grab this, and I'm going to change my upper index to 2. So this will take us the sum of the first two terms, 0.4583. And four decimal places means I need to have repeating four decimal places. So I'm going to repeat this process until, until I get the first four decimal places repeating. 
So it's a little bit of a plug and chug, but I think this is a pretty easy way to do it. So the first three terms is 0.4597. Notice that I now have two decimal places repeating. The 0.45 repeats each time. So I'm getting closer. Let's go and add the first four terms this time. And now I've got 0.4596. Still only the first two decimal places repeating, but actually now I have three decimal places repeating. I'm up to 0.459. So let's see if I can get to the next decimal place, fourth decimal place repeating in just a minute here with the fifth partial sum. And look at that, 0.4596. So this is the sum accurate to four decimal places. Once you have four decimal places repeating, you have found the sum accurate to that many of decimal places.